Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Ted Carr here and in today's class we're going to be talking about a value ladder and why you need to get crystal clear on what your value ladder is so that you can start making money right away. Isn't that cool? You start making money right away if you just get crystal clear on your value ladder. So first things first, a value ladder is essentially a lineup of products or services that you can offer or products and services that you recommend other people go and purchase or go and check out. So a great example, at the bottom of a value ladder, you have a bunch of free stuff. You have a free ebook, you have a free course, you have free training, you have a free guide, you have a free uh, X, Y, or Z, whatever. It's just free stuff. That's at the bottom of your value ladder. And on social media, really, that's the only thing you should be promoting. Social media is not meant for saying, hey, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Nobody wants to be sold on social media. Don't sell on social media. We're on social media to be social. We're on social media to say, hey, what's up? Check this out. This is really cool. That's what social media is for. If you don't want to be uh, disliked on social media, then don't go around trying to sell a bunch of stuff on social media. Just use social media to be social and say, hey, check this out. If you like it, I recommend checking the link in the bio or checking the link in the description, whatever. Now, when you send people to that link, that link should take them somewhere where they're being offered something for free in exchange for the email. Maybe it's to sign up for your class. Maybe it's to sign up for free coaching. Maybe it's to sign up for an ebook or a course or something that you're giving away for free. Okay, That's at the bottom of your value ladder. Now, the value ladder goes like this. Okay, So at the top of the value ladder, with the bottom of the value ladder, you have a free thing. At the top of the value ladder, you have something that's maybe like $10,000 or $25,000 or $50,000. Maybe it's a mastermind group in person. Maybe it's a private retreat that you host every year for two weeks long or something. Or maybe it's a year's worth of coaching from you. Whatever it is. It's the thing, it's the, it's the cream of the crop, the highest, most expensive product or service that you offer. That's the top of your value ladder. And at the bottom is your absolutely free thing. So what you want to have happen is you want to be able to send everyone on social media to your free thing. That's it. You don't send people to your $7 ebook or your $14 course or your $35 an hour coaching program. That's not it. Social media is just send people to the free thing. Once people get into the free thing, they say, wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much. They they get, uh, they but you build trust with them because they figure, wow, you really over-delivered here. So they go in, they get the free thing, they're like, wow, this is great, thank you so much. What else do you have? Immediately, right after they get the free thing, they're then offered an upgrade of some sort. Maybe it's an audiobook version, maybe it's a uh, deeper dive into the course, maybe it's uh, some paid coaching from you, whatever it is. It's, it's a slight step up from the free thing. So where the free thing is $0, your next step up is around $7. That's it. So you have a $7 upgrade from the free thing. And this gets shown to them in, in the funnel, the second page of the funnel. If you're not sure about funnels, we'll talk about that in the next video here. But uh, basically, page one of the funnel is the free thing. Page two of the funnel is now the $7 upgrade. Or it could be $2 upgrade, whatever. The point of this initial upgrade offering, whether it's 2 or $7, is to get the person to take out their credit card. Because it's very difficult to get someone to take out their credit card and buy something that's expensive online. But it's very easy to get people to think, I'll take my credit card out because this is a deal. And you want to make it a deal. You want that value of that $7 item. You want the actual value to be in the hundreds of dollars. You want it to be like worth a lot of money. You're giving it away for 7 bucks or $2 even. Just so they take out their credit card. Once they take out their credit card and buy that thing, they're stoked. They, they were already stoked because they got the free thing. Now they're stoked because they got an awesome deal on, on the next thing. And there's something called value momentum that kicks in here. So they got the free thing. Now they got the $7 amazing deal. Then what you can do is you can offer them a $47 bump offer or another $47 upsell, whatever. Where now this is like um, something that they may need to help them implement the $7 thing. Or maybe it's something that's going to help um, go even deeper into the $7 thing. But it's typically something that's going to... Um, help them overcome some of the problems that may arise once they get this $7 thing. Because whenever you give someone a, a new program or you sell them a service of some sort, a new problem seem, seems to arise always. So it's like if they get a, now they get a list of your top 10, 25 recipes and they get a list of, um, a list of uh, grocery ingredients that go along with that recipe book, then they might be wondering like, hmm, like how do, what tools should I use to actually um, make those things like now i don't have the tools or now i don't have the time to make all these recipes they seem like they're, they're too time complicated so now this next thing you can do is say hey here's a list of kitchen tools that you can get to drastically save you a lot of a lot of time or maybe it's uh, now hey check out my video course where i walk you through how to do these in the quickest time possible so if you're like wow that's a great addition to the thing i'm already getting so that's more expensive it's like 47 bucks perhaps 
Uh, the next thing up in your value ladder is something for $97 perhaps. Now maybe you also offer a seven day cleanse or a 30 day cleanse of some sort where, okay, now they got these recipes, but they may not stay on track now, right? They, they, this is all cool. This is all great, but they seem to get side um, tracked into going back to the way they were before. So in this $97 upgrade now you have in your third page of your funnel, or your fourth page perhaps, now you're saying, hey, do you want accountability for 30 days straight with me? So for 97 bucks, you can access to my 30-day accountability course. Something like this. Um, and then they say, sure, I'll get that, boom. And then on the next page of your funnel, you have something that's $247 maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not here to brainstorm right now on, on video, but point is you have something that's $247. And then after that, you have something that's 497 Then you have something that's 997 And you go all the way up. And if they ever say, no, I don't want that thing, then you don't send them to the next most expensive thing. Instead, what you do is you send them to a downsell. So as opposed to upselling them, so when they buy the $7 thing, now they're offered the 47, they click yes, now they're offered the 97, they click yes, now they're offered the 247. If they click no, you don't upsell them again. You downsell them. So if they say no to the 247, you then can cut that offer in half basically and say, okay, I understand you don't want the full 90 day program or the full year of coaching, whatever, but maybe you want like, um, just like a month of coaching or maybe you want like, um, just the digital version. It's not the real life one-on-one uh, -on -one call version, but you want like the recorded digital version for just a hundred bucks. So you just drastically downsell. You still give them like something similar to that. It's like still crazy value, but it's a lot cheaper. It's probably half price. So you offer a downsell. Now, the reason this is so important, the reason I'm talking about this is because if you don't have a value ladder set up like this, then what you're probably going to do is you're probably going to just send people to your website and say, Hey, I hope they buy my, my AirPods. And then you maybe make a sale of AirPods every now and then people click buy AirPods. Okay. Thank you for your order or order confirmed. See you later. You just missed out on a bunch of potential upsells and a bunch of potential downsells. So once you're crystal clear on your value ladder and you implement this into your funnel, so your funnel starts with the free book and then it does this and then this and this, all these upsells. Then what you can do is you can just simply for the rest of your, your career, if you want, you can sit back and let the funnel do all the selling for you. The funnel takes people through the whole series of, of potential sales. And all you do on social media is promote the free thing. And you can change the free thing from time to time. Maybe you get bored of offering a free book. Maybe instead you want to offer a free course or a free this or that, whatever. You can change that initial free thing and you can change some of the upsells and downsells throughout time as well, for sure. Or you can have multiple funnels where you send people to different funnels. Point is, you want this value ladder so that people can go through the journey. And the people who are super, super duper keen and want like everything from you, you actually give them the opportunity to get everything from you. And you actually are able to showcase each individual item because you have a whole page dedicated to just selling them on that one item. Um, now, if anyone ever gets one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, the very first thing I do with the client is I get them to first, I say, hey, get a copy of Expert Secrets, which you, if you're watching this right now, you can get it by clicking the link in the description. Um, this is for people who've already got Vegan Money 2.0. So if you've already got Vegan Money 2.0, the next book I recommend in your reading list is Expert Secrets. That's the first step of any coaching program I do with someone when it comes to business. Get a copy of Expert Secrets. Link is in the description. The next thing you do, it's a free book, by the way. All you do is cover the cost of shipping. It's like seven bucks. Once you get the book, Expert Secrets, or before you get the book, once you order it, then we start working on your value ladder. We start planning it out. We say, okay, what is the freebie? We wrote a list of 10 freebies. Then we say, what is the $7 or $2 upsell offer? We write a list of 10 of those. Then we write a list of 10 $47 options. We write a list of 10 $97 options. We write a list of 10 $247 options and $497 options and $997 options and $2,997 options and $4,997 options and a $9,907 $9 option. So once we have that out, we have lists of like 10 ideas on all these. Then we can start going through and picking up the best ones and start working on actually building up those products. All right. And then once you have this, once you have this crystal clear, you get so excited because you're like, oh my God, now I have so much to offer people and you want to keep making free content because free content really is the, 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 the foundation of everything that you do. You got to put out so much free content because you got to get known. You have to get your face out there. You got to get your name out there. You people need to believe that your name, your, your name, not people don't need to believe this, but your name needs to be a household name. People need to be talking about you when you're not around. People need to be thinking about you when they think about a certain problem that they have. They need, you need to be the go-to person in their life for whatever it is that they need to solve when it comes to their health issue or their relationship issue or their whatever issue that they're having. You need to be the person in that niche who can help them solve that problem. So 
have a value ladder and just start sending traffic to your free thing and then let people buy if they want to um, throughout the course of the funnel. So if you're not sure what, what funnels are, whatever, get a copy of Expert Secrets. It will explain absolutely everything. Link for that is in the description. And if you want some free funnel training, send me a DM on Instagram at Ted Carr and I'll send you that right away. All right, peace out, much love. And I'll see you at the Canada Vegan Fest next year. Ciao.